What's up guys, welcome back, Jandu. Oh. Uh, what's up guys, welcome back. We had two boxes just a second ago, um, but uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Well, um, so we had two boxes just a second ago. This is not how this video is planned to go, but um, we made an entire box in an enclosure and I'll put the 3D print in and the time lapses as we we're making for the actual bottom for the standing desk. Um, the design for the box had a couple issues and you'll see these ones are kind of breaking. Uh, just a slight bad design, I guess. And I, I should probably make another one. And now that I just broke that, I guess it all makes sense. But that's gonna sit down there. We have to do a, a lid to sit on that. But the actual sauce, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the intro for this one. I have a second one that I shot right before that I should have just kept it but we're playing around with this chip today and this is one of the the c3c chips uh, that we are playing with this one however has a tiny microphone on the bottom of it and I want to play with voice activation for the raising desk and that was kind of the the plan for today but we'll, we'll see how it goes I have to reprint and probably redesign the box now uh, yeah, <laughs> so give me two seconds. Okay, and by two seconds, I actually meant uh, like like a whole day. So we got in, we did all the programming on this chip itself, and I'm gonna show you guys this real quick, because this is something I've been working on for a while, and uh, if you didn't already know, this is my Butler Jeeves that I'm turning into an AI assistant. I'll link back to the, the video before, but I have a whole GPT-3 model that's running and voice processing running for this, but, but, but with these new chips and the smaller microphones, I'm gonna be able to put these things everywhere, so I'm gonna have like full coverage of Jeeves everywhere. And, 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 the model kind of works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so some some new sauce, uh, and this is this is even new to me. But this is a, an app called Edge Impulse, and I was using it to train an actual AI. We can go into the whole latent space and all the other all the other nonsense of how like how this thing works. But it's this this whole model that's being trained on words that I'm giving it, and you're doing AI magic in the background somewhere. But if we go back to this one right here, and I kind of messed up the current one that's running the actual commands. But you will watch if I switch the thing. If I now say Jeeves into the microphone, it'll pull up and it'll catch and detect it. But we're playing with a bunch of different words and this stuff is really cool, because not only can this run on the web and the internet and the browser, but this thing is packed so tiny that it can run on this little chip right here. It's all running on this tiny ML and it, it is, it is, it's sanity that this works. I also needed to pick up another development board because I was training off of this microphone and I need to train off that microphone. So I have to hook it into an SD card, but, but the crazier part is it's working. I can say like, hey Jeeves, all this other stuff and then it'll go, oh Jeeves, hey Jeeves, Jeeves. Yeah, there we go. But uh, good, good progress on this. Uh, on to the next. On to the next. Oh, also, before I get way too distracted, I want to show you guys this too. I actually have a model running on this as well. This this chip comes with an IMU accelerometer at the same time. So I've been playing around with this one and getting this chip running and working as well. So we have full IMU readings. It's also super, super like uh, responsive. This thing is able to detect even like little bumps and little bounces on the desk. There's a really, really nice, really nice MEMS IMU in here. Also, I want to play with that too because that also brings up some other really cool stuff with like measuring and all, the, all this all this AI stuff with Edge Impulse is so much fun. You can just feed it raw data from these things and it's just like, it gets it, it gets it. But, but on to the next thing, on to the next thing. But right on into the next thing and no more complaining about Apple development because if you look on my phone, there's a little something right here. Now, if you've been following since the flipper stuff, you know I've been complaining that Apple has been locking me out of Apple development, but I was able to finally compile and upload an app for iOS. So I'm gonna also start playing with this again too. Uh, I think if, you, if you're if you watching the short videos, there's gonna be another short out today uh, with something something to do with this, something interesting. I'll leave, it, leave that one up. But I'm super excited. It took way too long for some reason to get Apple to give me a license to make apps. I mean, I, 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 maybe I know why, but but now we can actually install real apps on an iPhone, which give us all the native controls to the iPhone itself. So I can do actual GPS data, all this other stuff like uh, services and have things running. I don't know. It's it's just kind of cool. Something quick, quick update on that one. Quick update on that one. Okay, and last update for today. But we have a smorgasbord of other things I wanted to fill you guys in quick. First off, first off, first off, I think I'm sending it. I'm getting this uh, hot air station and some flux and some other stuff. We need to resolder the board on this other camera than two cameras better than one still just been sitting here I've been meaning to do this but it's just a big endeavor but I found a reason to justify it because my friend is designing a new board right now called the Atom and that is pretty much one of these but open source and I'll have the design and I can use it and I can edit it and I can modify it but I need to have a whole reflowing station and all that for making that happen again so I think it's finally time justify I'm setting this so I'll have this sometime this next week if I'm buying off of Amazon so I'll start playing with that hopefully get this done 
soldered. And then this thing too, uh, another crazy thing. One of my older, one of my older designs, and I'm gonna link back the video. Maybe I'll slap a little piece in here of it running. This thing's really cool. But um, a piece I had and a part I had designed before for an automatic blind opener uh, that can just get slapped onto a window or one of these uh, blind cords. Uh, a buddy had a, had the same idea, and I was like, I already made that, and they might want to people might be have to sell this. So the printers might be running nonstop in the near future, making uh, some of these molds or cases. So I might have to touch back on this and fix fix a little issue with that. But um, I think that's about that's about everything for today. Uh, still going strong. Also, as always, uh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. It is actually updating the right way now. The second box is. Uh, I still need to install that, but whatever. But I think that's that's everything for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. My brain is a mess, and I just need to condense and push everything back down and get it all out. Um, but that's about it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Bye, guys.